What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerdcastle for the next episode of The Long Dark. In between episode recordings, I had to run all the way down to like the bodega and buy a bunch of stuff. Well, not a bunch of stuff, I needed sodas. You guys know that I have like a very, very real Diet Coke addiction or Diet Pepsi, doesn't even matter, I'll drink either or. I'm a giant whore like that. Still, at the same time, my, my soda that I bought, it smells like incense. I don't know, the bodega, they were burning incense down there. I was like, that's amazing that you've actually got like the smell of the incense. It's burned into the soda's plastic. So like when I drink the soda, it tastes, I mean, I don't know, it's just impressive. I didn't even know, I'm not complaining right now, I'm just saying, I didn't even know that was a thing that could happen when you burned instant, or incense, I don't know, I've never been a big fan of incense, I've always found incense to be a little bit overpowering, or maybe it's just that, like, the people that burn incense, they always burn it too much, like, you gotta burn, like, a little bit, like, a little bit goes a long way, it's kind of like cologne, a little bit can go a long way, you don't really, like, have to over, there was wood up here the entire time, wasn't there, I'm recalling in previous, let me look, let me look, yep, 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 cedar firewood right there, could have saved myself a bunch of trouble, well, over on this side, it looks like I can't tell. We got a bandage. We got beef jerk. <gasps> Ooh, a fire striker. Yeah, I could have just come up here and searched yeah, around in my... Could end up being Ooh. useful. A simple woolly hat. Which is better, a toque or a woolly hat? Like, is that one... So the toque is at point six. With the woolly hat, is it any good? Simple woolly hat. How are you? It's got minus four. The toque appears to be, like, way, way, way better. Okay, so there you go. Oh, I learned something today. Canadians make wool hats that are superior to all other wool hats. That's what I just learned. I mean, ideally, I would figure that they would both be wool hats. It's just one has lots of Canadian love and, like, maple syrup joy happiness inside of it. So there it is. Should I bring this back with me? I don't know if I should bring back... Eh. Yeah, let's bring the other storm lantern. I need to refill these things. So when I get back to base, remind me. And if I forget... Oh my god, I can't see anything. There we go. When I get back to base, remind me. I need to refill the kerosene on all of our lamps. And make sure that they're all stocked up. We actually haven't found that much kerosene. Additionally, we haven't found that many bullets either, which has me slightly worried. I need to unhide this thing real fast, although he's not really hidden in the first place. He's pretty much right out in the open, but you know what I mean. Let's get the gut out of him as well. This might make me overweighed slightly. But from what I understand about the game in the mornings, typically... Actually, we haven't even looted this entire place yet, have we? Oh, this could get a little rowdy because we're pretty much stacked up on loot. Okay, so... I'm gonna drop both of you. Actually, do either of you have fuel left in you? Hold on, let me let me take a look here. Let's find out. That one's got zero, that one's got zero. Okay, so I'll drop them both. I'm gonna drop the toolkit right here too because I don't really need it in my inventory right now. And then that should hold us for a second. Wish we had some lights or like something to do over here, but I guess I'm at the loot in the dark. Let's go through the lockers. I did bring a pry bar with me, so just in case any of these are locked, we should be able to mash our way through them nonetheless. So we can get more the more loot. Forcing this one right here. It takes an extra, like, basically you've got to do... Oh, good, okay, we got a can opener. That's pretty sweet and awesome. In this locker over here. Come on, force that thing open. You'd think it'd be easier to knock the hinges off than it would be just to pry it off. Oh, we got insulated boots. We can't see them, but we have them. Just have to trust that they went into my inventory. We also got some leather. Okay, a heavy wool sweater. That'll be nice. That's a little bit better than... Oh, my God, it's so dark in here. So ridiculously dark. Let me open you, locker. Be my friend. I'll open to... Ooh. Hey, what's up right there? Yeah. A sewing kit. All right. Good. All right. Well, we found quite a bit of good stuff in there. Did I get all these over here? I did not. So let's get started on those. We got some work boots. Damn, we're going to have a lot of stuff to hike back with us. We have some serious, like, organizational problems right now. I'm going to bring back a lot of loot. Either that or we could turn this place into an outpost. Where we have like some things over here that we could use for further adventures. Like we could re we could spend our time getting out to here. We would spend the night here and then we would go out to the next zone which is the ravine. And have a look out there. I mean there are options right here. We're not necessarily like isolated and forced into any current course of events. Let me break out another one here. We got a book. Okay. We got a candy bar. Alright. Inside this drope. We got nothing in that drope. Don't you know? That loot just won't let it flow in the drawer. And then we got the toque right there. This drawer right here. Another right there. Another book. Okay. A rifle round. A workbench, which we could use to maybe deal with some other things. But for right now, I think... Did I miss the... I missed this over here, didn't I? I missed you so much, first aid kit. I miss our time spent at the lake in the quiet spring, okay. sitting on top of Granddad's boat together, holding hands, you and I, med kit. All right. On this side, we got some lock pickery to do. Let me see. Oh, there it was. It was at 22-ish. Okay. 
Now we know all the way back around 22 and then we go back this way Yeah, man. Ah, it's 46. 22, 46. 22. All the way back to 46. And then back this way. Ah, 22, 46, 10. All right. 22, 46, 10. I got to say the number out loud in my head, otherwise I forget. There's 22. Unless you're one of those people that likes to say numbers while the other person is trying to work and then I hate you. Those people are the worst. Ah. Uh, People that are like 12, 14, 15, while you're trying to memorize numbers, you're like, oh, I want to kill you right now. I just, I want to do horrible oh, things. Yes, Rifle what? ammunition, okay. A military grade MRE. Actually, that was pretty much like a little prepper cache right there. We're walking very, very slowly, which makes me nervous about making it. However, oh, really, the down ski jacket is not as good as our premium winter coat. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm going to harvest you then because you weigh too much and I don't want you in my inventory right now if I can't wear you. And so there it is. Ski coat's gone. I'm going to try and harvest out all of this stuff if we can manage and that'll take our weight down quite a bit. I don't think I need to bring like 500 of these toolkits back with me either. Got some extra boots. Probably harvest you. Absolutely. That'll take our weight down a ton. We got 12 hours of daylight left so this shouldn't be too much of a problem. Got plenty of food in our inventory. We got plenty of stuff going on so I'm not worried about it. We've got a number of chocolate candy bars. I don't know what our health is looking like right now with regards to that, but we need to bring our weight down a lot. We've got a heavy wool sweater right here. What am I wearing? Cotton long underwear. Cotton is the fabric of death. At least that's what they used to tell us before we went out on adventures. Really? The work boots are better than the insulated boots, huh? That is surprising. That's really, really surprising. How are the insulated ones worse? Alright, well I guess I'll just harvest them then. There's no point carrying around a bunch of boots that we can't use anyways. You only need like one pair of shoes. No, who am I kidding? I love shoes. Shoes are one of my favorite things to spend paychecks on. I'd be like, mm, you know, I've been looking at those new vans. Like for example, I wanted like the Snoop Dogg, what are those? I don't know, they're like the... I don't know, Snoop Dogg had a pair of shoes recently. I think they were Pumas. They're pretty dope. They're pretty dope. I was excited about it, but I can't find them anywhere and I don't want to order them on the internet because they'll get here and be the wrong size and then I'll be all sad and my life will be ruined. And I'll cry. And I'll be like, meh. Heavy wool sweater. I'm going to repair you. That's right. Feel free. Prepare to be repaired. Oh, we failed. Let's try again, shall we? Come on, little meter. Oh, yes. Bring it on up to the top. And so now it's actually better except for the wind chill. So we'll fix that up a little bit more in the future. It'll save us some of our materials here. I don't know what else I can bring along in order to drop some of my weight down. Carrying around a lot of stuff right now. I guess I can harvest you. How much does one piece of cloth weigh? That's going to be an obvious question that I feel like we should probably be predisposed, predisposed to asking right now. It weighs 0.1, so you're gaining a little bit right there. Probably wear those and then harvest these. You want to have like a large scale supply of like random stuff like patches and things to repair your clothing with. If you're wondering why I'm going through all this trouble right now, it's important for later. It's important for later. So swap into better clothes, tear up the bad clothes so that you can repair the better clothes later on. Wait, what? Oh, that toque's a little bit better. Sorry. Other toques looking all nervous right now. Say, like, no! You're supposed to shred Ted! Ted is an asshole. Nobody likes that toque. I'm the nicer toque, even though my quality is shabbier. Tear him up. What are you going to do this stuff to me for? I'm like, well, because you were standing there. You made yourself obvious. See, that's what I figured. The insulated boots have got to be better, right? Let's just harvest these. I I'm suspicious at this point. I'm pretty sure. Oh, we're dehydrated. Well, that's no fun. We're dehydrated and starving, so we're going for the double whammy of fail right now. We're just like double layering that thing like a sandwich. A delicious fluffernutter sandwich. Mm. If you don't know what a fluffernutter is, it's a peanut butter sandwich with marshmallow filling. It is incredible. It is a testament to decadence. It is m one of my favorite things. It's delicious. There's no way around it. Don't even try and debate with it. It's that good. Like, I love anything that mixes marshmallow with anything, but seriously, it's awesome. What do we have here? I gotta be able to get rid of some more stuff. So the thin wool sweater. We have a thick wool sweater, okay. That's what we have right there, so we can harvest you. We should be getting close right now. We should be getting close. I realize we're starving. I'll deal with it in a second. Probably eat some of these candy bars. Get our health back up a little bit. 
Mmm, delicious candy for dinner. What he should do is he should actually get near a fire and he should melt these down and he should make a mega brick of chocolate. That's what I would do. Just because I was bored, I would make mega brick. And mega brick would be awesome. Our fire striker's a little wrecked up right now. That's disappointing because that was like one of those long-term pieces of gear that you kind of want to hold on to. A little bit disappointed about that. We got five of those right there, so we should be able to melt off quite a bit of goodies if we need to. We got to be able to get rid of something else in here. We have to. We got to have multiples or something going on. Doesn't actually look like we do. Damn. All right, so we got to walk this thing back like slow mode style. It's not my favorite thing to do, but if it has to happen, I suppose it has to happen. Looking around for bullets laying on the floor. We cleared this place out pretty well. When we get back home, we should have the availability of a wolfskin coat to put on. We may also, if we can kill a deer on the way home. Oh, good. The weather's not bad. Yeah, it's actually pretty neutral right now. We're not freezing at all. I love not freezing at all. Let's take the deer hide real fast. Harvest that out. That'll take us probably 40 minutes to get that all off the body. But it will be useful later on. We'll also take the gut while we're here. Awesome. And what I'll do is if this ends up taking too much time for us to walk back to town. Oh, never mind. There's a storm coming in. All right. Well, in that case, I'm going to go against my better judgment. I'm going to eat this MRE right here. There we go. MRE eaten. And so now we need to get back home. And so this walk should be fairly safe, I think. I mean, it shouldn't be too bad. I think we should be all right on our way back in, but I can't promise anything. So I figure that as we move along, we should be able to keep ourselves reasonably safe unless there's a wolf in the way. And I don't want to waste the ammo right now. So what I'm going to do is there's actually a back way, and I'll show that to all of you right now. Oh, yeah, you can get, if you, you see how the wind's blowing in a certain direction, if you get alongside a rock like this, your temperature will go up. I don't know if people knew about that, but you can do that if you're actually, like, strapped. If you're feeling like you're probably going to die of freezing to death, you can throw yourself up against a stone and just sort of, like, wait it out if you're feeling really, really desperate. But it's your call. It's your call. Let's see, we got a dead guy over there on the right. We've got a deer over here that we could take a shot at, but I think I've got more than enough leather for right now. If we can hustle our way back to town, I'd be pretty pleased with ourselves. This is going to be a side of the map that we hadn't hit yet. I don't think I've ever found anything out here, though, so I wouldn't get your hopes up. This entire area is sort of just like a no-man's land. It's good for hunting, though. It's good for hunting and good for trapping. Occasionally, you'll come across a body or something like that, but the largest body of loot is going to be on that side of the highway. On that side of the trainway, I guess. Ew, they gave us the slow bar and everything, and then we didn't get anything out of it. He's going to take off right there. I was looking forward to maybe plugging him one, but... Oh, well, what are you going to do? I don't think we have the endurance right now to do anything about it anyways. That was one of the main reasons that I actually moved all of my... Because we're sprinting right now. You can see how fast our calories are going away. It's one of the main reasons I used the MRE. Now, this should allow us to leapfrog that that wolf back there. I almost said leapfrog that frog, but we aren't worried about any, like, major vicious snow frogs or anything. Canada would be a much scarier place if you guys had giant vicious snow frogs. It would be horrifying. I don't know if I could deal with getting killed by an amphibian. It just seems like it's just one step too far. It's one step too far. It'd be like getting killed by, I don't know, a platypus or something. Like, I know they have those poisonous barbs on them. But it just seems insulting because they seem so fluffy and adorable that it just doesn't seem like they should be able to kill you that simply. It just doesn't jab with me. Well. I guess we'll continue our long walk here and just sort of, like, see what we can accomplish. It's not looking good for us, though. The prospects are definitely looking sketch. Yeah. Hopefully there's no wolf back up in here. If you do, you can actually follow that trail back there all the way around. And it actually reconnects to the spot where we first started on the map where you enter from the lake on the west. So that's what you're trying to look for for right now. We're about ready to go to the next map. I think that we're actually stocked up well enough on food and other goodies that I should be able to just bring a backpack full of stuff and we can scout out the next zone. I've never been there. I stepped into the zone for about five minutes and that's about all that I've seen of any of the new connecting zones. And so I figured that as we go along, we should be able to like do some kind of new content here. I think our house should be right up on the other side of this outcropping right here. But yeah, I would avoid staying, I would avoid staying in weather like this. This kind of weather right here can cause problems. And even though it doesn't look that bad because... We've got really, really good clothing. It actually is that bad in the earlier game. I'm kind of setting a bad example right now. Once you've got really good loot in this game, you don't really have to worry about the weather anymore unless it's really, unless it's nighttime. That's really the main stipulation that I would make there is once the lights go out, the 
The cold tends to get a little bit bitey, grabby, and fondly, at which point you may find yourself not having quite so much fun in its presence. Wind's coming from that way, huh? That might explain, because we're walking on the side of this ravine right here, we've actually got like these big stone outcroppings. That might be what's supplying us with the extra little bit of warmth that we need in order to make it back to base. I may stock up the dam. I may stock up the dam. I may actually walk back out there encumbered in between episodes. And when I do that, the ultimate plan will be... Well... Yeah, once I do that, the ultimate plan will essentially be to put a bunch of food and like non-perishable items out there so that if we have to stop off and save ourselves, we can. Basically stock it up with a little bit of firewood as well. We could forge some wood out here if we had the time. It's a little bit cold though. I'd rather wait until the weather's a little bit better to go out and chop wood. So let's just get everything stored up for right now. We'll try and get ourselves logged away on a lot of the stuff that we need. This thing over here's got food for us. I think that I'm gonna grab like three of those. And let's just see if we can get our caloric intake up to where it needs to be for right now. In addition, what I plan on doing is we'll take some of the extra wood that we have down and in here. We'll throw that in there to get rid of some of the weight that we're carrying around with us. Got the water purification tablet, so that's something that I'd like to work to in the near future. We've got more than enough gut, and we've got leather, so it might be a good plan right now to pick up some of these wolf pelts. And I have no concept about how long this is actually going to take in order to get done. You can begin crafting it, and it takes 50 hours to get done, and it gives 7 degrees. Is it even worth the time? What does our jacket have? It has 2.1 degrees, but it's at 52%. So if I repair it right now, we got an 87% chance of success. Let's repair it. That'll take it almost back up to 100%. And let me take a look now. Oh, it takes it back up to 100%. Okay, so we got 4 degrees right there. So the wolfskin coat is better. I don't know how we want to spend time on it, but... Maybe spend like... 3 hours? I don't know. Got 1 hour of daylight left. I thought we had more hours of daylight. That is unfortunate. And so it's got 57 hours remaining on that design. Little bit disappointed with how long that's actually going to take to get done. But then again, it is a big project. So maybe that's what they're leaning towards. Wait, why is the code in my inventory right now? Oh, you carry it around with you. So basically, that's sort of like a, a placeholder, I would guess. Okay. Well, we're out of light for right now. Let's go upstairs. And I think we'll probably spend the next day just doing preparatory work. Oh my god, it's so dark. Let me get a match out so that you can all at least see in the slightest interim while we run around up here. We don't have a whole lot of stuff left. I would say just spend like two hours maybe getting more firewood out of this place. And then we'll stock that up. We'll get a big pile of firewood. And what we'll do after that is we'll get a huge supply of water. What we'll do after that is we'll cook up all of the extra food that we haven't completed. So let me eat that, and then we'll eat the other one too, because that'll take some weight off of us. We're in 78 right there. That's actually pretty perfect, so that'll work out. We've got a little bit of thirst still knock, knock, knocking at the back of our throat, and so we'll take care of that to get rid of the itch. Now that that's been taken care of, we got to find our way to the bed in the pitch black. Trip over the magnifying lens while we're out here. Go seven hours on that one, and that should allow us to get our condition way back up to where it needs to be. At which point, I think we should be able to face the new day with a little bit of a spry pep in our step. I don't know. I don't know. Some days I got the pep in the step. Sometimes sometimes I don't. I just really don't know how to orchestrate it properly. Every now and again, it seems to be missing. It just doesn't show up for work like it's supposed to. All right, so with the remainder of this stuff, we want to drop a lot of the wood over here in the corner because that's what we've been carrying around with us. Nope, that's not what we wanted. We wanted to go 5 kilos right there, and then we've got a whole bunch of you, so that's 1.5 kilos. We'll drop all of that real quick. Now that that's taken care of, we'll also drop both of the books. That'll take us down to 23 kilograms. We're carrying around a little bit of extra food and a little bit of extra weight. However... Let me make a tool pile in the middle of the room here for when we want to repair stuff. So we'll drop you right there. Some of this food stacked in. It looks like we got a little bit of extra stuff waiting us for us. Oh, actually, it's staying pretty well taken care of. All right. Drop the condensed milk up in there. Some of the beef jerky up in there, too, because I don't want to worry about that for a little while. Where is the majority of this weight coming from? It's got to be coming from something specific. And I can't really put my finger... It's got to be... Okay, so it's the leather. That's what it is. 
It's the leather and some of the other stuff, and this is pretty much full up right now too, which is unfortunate because that means that I can't stock the rest of this in here. Put you over there. Let me take the remainder of that. What I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to make a big pile down at the bottom next to the workbench because that's what we're going to be using anyways. And once I've made a big pile of resources, that'll make it nice and easy to organize. And so all this stuff over here. Drop all the leathers. That should take some weight off. Absolutely. Drop all the gut that we can. I'll pick all this stuff back up once we start working on the wolf hide again. Drop those over there. That's looking really, really good. That's going to be 8 kilograms. Okay, so that's got us down to like an almost suitable weight. We are carrying around a lot of flares, and I don't tend to use those very often. And so I'll probably just drop those around here somewhere so I don't have to worry about it. My name is Splattercat. I look forward to seeing you all in the next episode. Thank you for being here. I'll see you all next time. Hi, do everybody.